welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about how to import excel data into a civil 3d program i'm just going to open my folder that contains the data that we're going to use today uh first of all i'm going to open this survey plan uh, it's a survey plan that contains that has the boundary the corner points or the beacons of uh, this particular property so we are interested in this the values of the coordinates of these points or the corner beacons of this particular property so the coordinates of this uh, tn tn1 m5 m4 m3 m2 m2x and the m1 are uh, in this uh, section this uh, coordinate is coordinate list section and uh, I manually typed uh, the coordinate list in, in Excel so this is the Excel that contains the data that I typed so what I'm going to do I'm just going to when the Civil 3D, just, uh, it's a blank Civil 3D that I've just opened. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to show you the format, the Excel format that is acceptable into Civil 3D. So if I go to the top menu, you'll see these uh, points. I'm just going to click on it and then just going to click the, on the import stroke export points so that i can show you the formats that are allowed so in this particular wizard or import points wizard you'll be able to see uh, the first uh, section is about selected files uh, the second section is about the specified points file format this is what i'm going to I'm going to look at if i look at this particular the first uh, list you'll be able to see that it's enz which is uh easting nothing and elevation elevation is symbolized as z or z uh, the format that i normally use and i normally like to use you can choose any format uh, depending on how you want to Format your data, but uh, the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to use this particular. Uh, we're going to use the this particular uh, format, which is point uh, number. Uh, sorry, not that one. I'm going to use point. This one, point, point number. Nothing, which is N, Easting, which is E, Elevation, which is Z, and Description, which is D, and it should be in uh, comma delimited, uh, which is CSV. Uh, so this is the format that we're going to use. And before we do anything, let's first of all uh, format our units. So in Civil 3D, at the bottom of the program, you'll be able to see this command bar just click on this uh, empty space and type in units so that you can format your units properly click enter be able to see this uh, drawing units uh, wizard so under length or distance uh, you should be able to select uh, Two decimal place or under position just choose two decimal place and make sure that uh, we click on this clockwise click on that uh, box and then under direction you are going to choose north and then click ok and uh, click ok so now you are done with uh, formatting our units so i'm just going to minimize this to a 3d program so that you can format our data in excel now that you have this excel and it's in a spreadsheet format 
you need to convert it into Civil 3D into uh, comma separated values or CSV. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to under this uh, menus, I'm just going to choose file so that you can save this file as CSV. Then uh, on your left hand side, you'll be you'll see this save as. Just click on it and choose the folder where you want to save your data. Uh, so under save as type, just need to click that to expand and then we're going to choose CSV, comma separated value. This comma delimited, CSV comma delimited. So I'm just going to choose that. Let do save so now that you have this data you're going to format this data uh, in this format then you're going to format our data as p p c d which is uh Point nothing then that's eastern then this is uh Version. Then lastly, uh, this description. So this is the format that we're going to use to format this data. So what, I, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add another column right here. So I'm just going to highlight the first column and uh, under this uh, group cells in the home tab you see this uh, group cell then choose insert then just going to expand i'm going to type in okay let's click on it and then type points then just going to select everything and cut control c just right click and then cut it's going to be the last one just going to right click and then just this time around the heading should change to description then uh, bet between highlight the description column then again add another column this one is elevation and uh, if you look at this survey plan I open my survey plan and we realize that we don't have heights or elevation so we're just going to uh, give it zero so we're going to give it zero then so now we have points nothing existing elevation and description so which means you don't need that particular column. So under points you're going to add and there are points, so I'm just going to so we have 15 points. So 
this in CSV and uh, remember uh, in civil 3D the civil 3D has the head it will be able to detect uh, the headers because we specified uh, our format I'm just going to delete that we don't need these headers I'm just going to delete that uh, and then let me minimize and again go to Civil 3D and now we are importing points these are points so uh, the tool that we're supposed to use is tool under the menu bar so I'm just going to click on tools and uh, we are importing so I'm just going to click import stroke export then we're going to choose import points and uh, before you click on select file files first of all you need to specify the uh, point formats and we said we are, we are using the points nothing easting elevation description this one here and uh, we are going to click this uh, green plus symbol in order to add a file and uh, my files are in desktop in this particular folder i'm just going to choose that and open so uh it's get it's telling me so the program is complaining uh it's telling me no point file format much found and i did i did this on purpose because uh, civil 3d was unable to open this that particular file because uh, the csv file was still open so if you want to import the points first of all you need to close the source file that's the csv file you need to close it and then uh, you try again just uh, click the points then import I'm going to choose the repeat the process just choose that particular format click the green uh, symbol then choose the file and open now this time around we see uh, it has it has accepted the data and it's given it a green check I'm going to click OK now uh, our points are nowhere to be seen despite uh, having imported it it's because now we need to display the points we're going to do that by typing the ze ze -E in the command bar the bottom of this program will be able to see this command then just type in ze -E and hit enter now we have our points uh, next thing you need to do is to label our points so i'm just going to just left click anywhere there then just uh, drag a mouse then left click again we have your points or you can just skip and uh, click on one particular point and then right click then select a similar the, and all the points will be able, will be selected and uh, just go in this home tab and choose under tool space you need to choose this uh, property tool this properties just click on it we need to change first of all the point style in order to change the point style uh, just click there then uh, scroll down you'll be able to see this create stroke edit and we're going to choose one style and edit it you are going to choose the first one and i'm going to choose this particular icon the pencil and brush click on it uh, under marker uh, i'm going to select point that dot and a circle on it Okay, okay, okay. Uh, still, the, when the points are still highlighted, 
select uh, point labels under uh, properties under point labels you only want descriptions so select descriptions only is the first one in the list and then close the properties and uh, click escape now you have your points right here and you can as well uh, let me open the you can as well uh, plot that particular uh, party boundary so you're starting from m1 you can start from anywhere i'm just going to start from m1 go to tn go to tn1 m5 m4 m3 m2 m2x and then back to m1 so just minimize that so my first point was m1 i'm just going to choose the poly line so under this uh, draw group choose poly line you can i can just choose lines let me just pick lines so you said you're starting from m1 you go to tn go to tn1 go to m5 go to m4 then m3 m2 m2x lastly back to m1 and click enter now you have your uh, property boundary you have your points so that's how uh, that's how excel data is exported or imported into uh, silver 3d autocad silver 3d and uh, that's it for this tutorial uh, kindly remember to subscribe like and share and uh, smash the notification bell so that whenever i produce a similar videos will be among the first people to be notified so thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial